welcome back to Gypsy in the City TV. I have my gorgeous Ileana here and we filmed the Get Ready With Me and we also did the Latina tag. So we answered a couple of questions about our background, our culture, our history, so you guys can get to know a little bit more about us since you know I love my Latina. Hey. So if you guys want to see how we did our makeup today and see us answer our questions, then keep watching this video. We kind of just started doing our makeup, guys, but um, hopefully you don't mind that. I had to charge my um, camera's charger because it was dead from the previous video we filmed, which you can go watch on the Yana's channel. So um, the first question from the Latina tag is, what is your nationality? I am Peruvian, Puerto Rican, and Japanese. Well, Puerto Rican, Peruvian, Japanese. You're like such a mutt. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Wait, so who's Peruvian, your mom? My mom's Peruvian Japanese and my dad's full Puerto Rican. How did they even meet? Like, what, did they meet here in New York? Yeah, they met here. Like, my dad kind of stalked my mom. <laughs> like, hey girl. Like, hey girl, what's good? And then my mom just gave him a chance and bam. And your mom is um, Japanese and Peruvian, right? Yeah. Does she have a Japanese last name? Um, no. She doesn't, but like, if I show you a picture of her, she looks so Japanese. If you like, there's Peruvian Japanese, um, Peruvian oh, yeah. Japanese in Peru, like, they look Japanese. There's, I know so, a lot of Peruvians that have um, Japanese, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I asked. My nationality is Dominican, both of my parents are Dominican, full blown, yes, full blown. Okay, the second question is, can you speak Spanish? Yes, but. <laughs> My Spanish is funny because Peruvians speak Castellano and okay. Puerto Ricans have, have their like, you know, their the slang, twang, a twang. The flavor. So my Spanish is kind of funny because it's like a mixture of both. That's really interesting. My Spanish is Spanglish, A. Eh? Yeah, mine's too. <laughs> and then it's like, okay, so there's Dominican Spanish, like regular Spanish, not as fancy as like a Castellano Spanish, but there's also Dominican slang. And if you're from New York and then you're from Uptown, you know exactly what Dominican slang I'm talking about. So sometimes when I speak Spanish to people that are like from Spain or from South America and they speak it a little bit more proper, like, you know, like Colombian Spanish sounds very proper. Yeah. I feel like I'm talking like really hood Spanish. Like I feel like I sound like a hood rat when I speak Spanish <laughs> sometimes and it's so embarrassing. Oh my god. Yeah people laugh when I like especially when I talk to my mom at home it's full blown Spanglish. Like, but it's funny how like some they'll talk to us in Spanish and we'll respond in English and yeah. they understand. Yeah. Or just Span Spanglish. We'll just be and making they, up and words. Like, our parents just want to like know how to say certain things in English. Yeah. Just so they learn. Okay, question number three is what is your favorite dish from your country? Oh my god, my favorite dish that my mom makes is lomo saltao. That is so good. Oh, my mom makes it the best. Like, I've been to so many restaurants that, you I know... I come over to your house. I already told you this. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's so many restaurants, Peruvian restaurants, that, you know, have that on their menu, but it just doesn't taste like home. So Does your mom do anything different from what they do at the restaurant? Oh, tell them what lomo saltado is. Lomo for, saltao, no, somebody that's not Peruvian. Lomo saltao is like, what is it, like, beef with, like beef with peppers and my mom puts tomatoes and potatoes in it but the potatoes are kind of like french fries okay, okay yeah 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 um and then that's served with rice um on the side white rice of course but it's so it good like my so mom good. just like has her flavor and when I come home, like I want to eat it straight from the pot. Like that's how yes. much I love it. Like you can't. I feel so loved when I come home and there's like no one's up down. <laughs> my mom was actually married for a bit to a Peruvian guy, so that's how I know so oh many Peruvian God. dishes. Yeah. And one of my friends in high school is Peruvian, and um, so I'm very well. Like I know a lot about the culture, and the food is so bomb. It's like the best of both worlds. It's like Spanish food and yeah. Chinese food mixed together. It's so good. So good. I love, I love. Like, and ceviche oh, The ceviche is bomb. Arroz chafa is bomb. Yes, like, my mom. Oh, I love my mom's cooking. Like everything. My mom also incorporates like Puerto Rican traditions and Puerto Rican flavors into, into what she makes. So sometimes it's like you don't know. Sometimes she'll have like Peruvian or sometimes she'll have you know the Puerto Rican flavor going on. So yeah, she's... Yeah, aren't you lucky? I feel blessed. I um, my, mom's cooking. my favorite dish from my country is um, 
Moro de guandule, so it's like rice with peas, but it's made with a coconut sauce. So it has like a slight coconut flavor. The mm. rice has a slight coconut flavor. And then with fried fish, that is like my ultimate favorite meal. Whenever I go to DR and my family knows that we're going, my um, dad's, uh, my grandfather's wife, which is not my grandmother, he like remarried after, she already knows like my moro de guandules con coco and fried fish on deck, Ada's coming. My favorite meal. That sounds good. It's so good. Never like, oh that. my god. If we ever go to DR, girl, Hook I'm gonna put you up. on. Shorty, let me up. put you on. I love trying new foods. Like, from any country, I'm open to trying new foods. I'm such a foodie. Me too. I'm the same way. And that's why I love that we live in New York because there's so many different cultures here. Yeah. There's so many things you could eat here. Okay, the next question is name a household item that reminds you of your culture. Household item that we might have in my culture. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Um, what comes to mind is like my mom has like this like plate, like a brass plate, mm -hmm. and it has like the Peruvian kind of flag in the middle, mm -hmm. and you can see like the little llama and. It's, I don't know. It just looks so cute. So when I see that, it reminds me of. Does like, she have like a collection of like plates? Like you know how they're like embroidered plates. Like has, China. Is it like fine China or something? Well, I mean, of course she has her big like. What is that? Like a bureau of like you know the little. Yeah. Like, every household, <laughs> every Latina household has like that you can't touch. Like yeah. if you even open That's it. That's only for show. <laughs> yes. But and to um, take up space. Yeah. So. But she has a little like knickknacks, like Peruvian. Oh no, you know what reminds me of Peru? The music. My mom still plays the cassettes. Oh! The cassettes, yes. And then she comes and takes out like any like white rag or mm -hmm. white anything, a sock, and just starts like, hey! You know? Doing the dance? <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Um, A household item that reminds me of my culture is. And every Dominican household, it never fails, or well, every like traditional one, I guess, um, there's these little figurines without any faces, and they're like different colors, and they're often carrying like baskets or um, like flowers. I can't think of the specific names. They have a specific name, and I can't think of it right now, so if you guys know what I'm talking about, like leave a comment below. And they're like, they're, they're just such a Dominican thing to have in your home. Like, it's like, you know, like the little Russian dolls like that you could like stack yeah. them? It's like that kind of, not really. It's just like different sizes of these dolls made out of clay with no faces. I need to see that. that yeah, I'm going to show you a picture. Like, and then it just represents like the many, I know that it represents the many faces and cultures of um, Dominican Republic and how we all look so different, you know, because there's some Dominicans that are really, really light you know brown eye, like light eyes and light hair and then there's some that are really really dark yeah okay does your furniture have plastic covers my furniture doesn't have plastic covers but um when i was younger i had a dominican babysitter oh so you're trying to say it's a dominican thing no no, no. it probably is though <laughs> My furniture currently does not have plastic covers, but if you would have came to my um, family's house like around the 90s, there was definitely plastic covers on our furniture, and it's so annoying when you sit on it. It was like, it'll make all this freaking noise. Okay, number six. When was the last time you visited your country? Um, about like, like four, maybe four years ago. Wait, wait Puerto Rico or Peru? Peru. I've only uh, I've only gone to Puerto Rico once when I was younger, and then Peru I kind of went like every like two two to four years. So the last time I went to Peru was um, yeah, definitely like four years ago, four or five years ago. Okay, the last time I went to DR was like. Yeah, it was like a good five years ago. I think it was like in 2011, my great grandmother passed away and she was like the matriarch of the family. So I haven't been back since and a big part of it is because I don't even feel right going back because every time we would go, it was to see her and so that she could see all the grandkids and great grandkids. So now that she's not there, it's like really weird. And I don't even know if I like, I don't really have any desire to go back just because I know that she's not there. It's so weird. Like she was like the best. So, you know, going back and it's like, she's not there. It's like going, it's just weird. And I'm actually like, my middle name is her name. I was named after her. Oh my God, so, what's your middle name? Virginia, that That's old so lady like. And I got it from my great grandma. That's beautiful. Okay, number seven. What part of the country are you from? 
My mom is from Pimentel, which is like a small like town. It's really, really beautiful. It's by the beach. And my dad is from Hayuya. Which I think I think it's more like the suburban side. Oh, of course. It's cool. Like El Campo, yeah. Okay. My family is from Nagua, which is like in the north coast of DR. So it's like surrounded by all these beautiful beach beaches and there's actually a popular saying that Dominicans have about Nagua and it says entra si puedes y sal si quieres. I don't really know what that means. I guess I kind of do. I don't know. If you guys know what that means, like let a sister know. Okay. What if you ever visit your country, what is your favorite place to visit? Um my favorite place, one of my favorite places to visit, it's like I think it's in the city. It looks like it looks so Miami. I've never been to Miami, but like the Palm Beach. Yeah, very, it reminds like, you of it. And then they have like a mall that's open. Like Wait, where in the city is it? Where your mom's from? No, it's I think it's in Lima in Peru. Um it's like a mall that just kinda like spirals down so you can see down. Mm -hmm. The and there's there's no ceiling, it's by the beach. It's really cool. It sounds nice. Yeah, that's my favorite place to go and yeah, just around there they have like nice romantic little parks, so but I really want to go, you know, to other parts of Peru. Like um in Peru they have uh, Machu Picchu which is oh, one of the yeah. seven world wonders. So she's like if you didn't know. If you know. didn't know. But I definitely wanna go. You have to take a plane to Peru and then another plane. Oh really? Yeah, because it's girl, it's it's up there. It's so hard to do eyeliner with um thing. That's why I've been doing my eyeliner for the last eight questions, by the way. <laughs> I'm gonna like set it here. Um the my favorite place to visit um is there's a place, it's not in Nagua, it's maybe like 45 minutes to an hour away. It's called Arroyo Salado and it's like a river oh, and a beach. Like a food, like a yeah. <laughs> it's called Arroyo Salado and it's like a river. Well, I love Boca Chica. Love it there. But I also love Arroyo Salado. So Arroyo Salado is like a river and also a beach. So like the river like goes out into the ocean. So it's really cool because you can actually lay on the river and the current is not really that strong. So if you lay on there like floating, yeah. it'll like take you to the beach. Ooh. It's, I love going there. It's so much fun. You make me want to go to DR. Yes, like you go with your family and everybody's just like, you know, everybody takes a spaghetti con salami and bread <laughs> to the beach or like rice and that chicken. That sounds so good. And you spend the whole day at the beach and it's so much fun. I love going there. That sounds so good. Um, what is your favorite dessert from your culture? Um, my favorite dessert. Oh, um, is this ice cream? Um, oh my god. Hold on, I need to go with this. Because it's like, I have it, uh, like, I have it right, right there. Is it's, it like Peruvian or like yeah, Asian? No, it's Peruvian. Peruvian. It's like an ice cream. Peruvian ice cream. Lucuma. Lucuma. What does it have in it? El helado de lucuma. Lucuma is um is a fruit. Is it like that? Well, like what kind of fruit is it? It's like it looks like a it looks kind of like a mango, but not really. Look, it like has that's lucuma, and then they make um an ice cream out of it. It's so good. Oh, I've like, never heard of that so fruit. Good. I wonder if it's like a fruit that we also have, but we just call it something else. Yeah, it's more like in South America, maybe, or maybe okay. you do have it. Oh, I'm gonna do some maybe because you know what's funny that um sometimes we have the same thing but we have different, different names, names. Yeah. yeah that's so true like I know like guava or like um those little balls that you suck on and oh. it's like limons we call them limoncillos but Puerto Ricans call them um I can't oh my god yeah them. I can't yeah so, okay, the next question is, oh, my favorite dessert from my co country is arroz con dulce. I love arroz con dulce and habichuela con dulce. It is so good. Like, basically, arroz con dulce is rice pudding, um, and habichuela con dulce is like a sweet bean soup. It is so good. Like It the, sounds good. Oh, my God, it's delicious. I think my Dominican babysitter used to make that. <laughs> yeah, especially, like, around the holidays, people make a lot um, them and also during Easter like it's a tradition that you make like habichuela con dulce in your household so if you want some habichuela con dulce go visit one of your Dominican friends during well, I'm Easter here. I'm here and they will hook you up I'm here oh I don't have any here but I got you girl for the um for next year okay number 11 why haven't you visited what what haven't you visited in your country that you want to visit I want to visit Machu Picchu 
which is one of the seven world wonders in Peru. Mm -hmm. And then I definitely want to go to Puerto Rico and visit Old San Juan. Like it sounds. Oh, oh and then La Isla. What's that? Culebra, la, la Isla Culebra. I think oh that's... yeah, I've seen pictures of yeah, it. Yeah, so in Puerto Rico. I see. It looks so beautiful. So I definitely want to go, um, go and visit. Oh, I feel like it's gonna be a very like now that I'm older, mm -hmm. cause I I would go to like you know I went to Puerto Rico when I was younger and Peru also when I was younger. Now that I'm older and I can go and be an actual tourist, yeah, you um, can even appreciate it more. Cause you yeah, know. I'll definitely appreciate the beauty more and just learn more about my culture. You can never learn enough. Exactly, that's so true. For me, I want to visit, um, so my family's from Nagua, and every time we go to DR, we either fly in through um, Santiago or to the capital, but I've never actually really visited the capital. I always, we always drive straight from the capital to Nagua, which is four hours away. So I've never really had the chance to explore the capital, and if I did, it, I was probably really young and I don't remember, but I would like to go back and I want to explore like La, Sola, La Zona Colonial, which is like where Christopher Columbus kind of set up shop when he like um, oh, wow. discovered America. And um, so I want to go back and I want to visit that and really see the capital. Also because it's like they really changed a lot. So it's like very industrialized. It's very like it Your looks way, like girl. Miami supposedly. Your way. Yes. <laughs> Clean it up. Okay. What type of music reminds you of your country? Um, Mark Anthony. Always <laughs> reminds me of Puerto Rican. So Puerto Rican. You cannot have a Puerto Rican Christmas uh, without Mark Anthony. When he said booty, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and per Peruvian music. Um, damn, they're like different music. I don't know what what is it called. I have to look that up. But they have, yeah. Look that up. <laughs> for music for sure bachata reminds me of my country merengue reminds me of my country um, um like my country typicals for sure especially like in nawa typicals are really popular and just having like a live brand you know with the guida and with the accordion and with the tambora tamboras like that's so dominican um what is your favorite type of music like latino music i guess um I love salsa. I love reggaeton. Of course. I love yes. you know some bachata here and there. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah, salsa merengue. I think that makes me move. Sometimes I look like the deep like love songs. Yes. I'm not really into mariachi. Uh, mariachi, yeah. yeah. Um, for me, obviously, I love typicals. I love merengue. I love bachata. I love Juan Luis Guerra. Like, love him so much. I guess like. What's a, a really popular artist from your country that you love? Like Mark Anthony is like. I mean, there's so many. Oh, um, Elis Crespo. Oh, Suavemente yeah. comes on. Everyone yes, swears like, they. <laughs> Suavemente is like when they're trying to kick you out the club, like or that one Spanish song that, that they play. Everyone when knows. you ask, like, can you play a Spanish song, and they, they put, put Suavemente. Suavemente. So annoying. Um, I mean, you know, you can always get down something. Yes. Though. Um, I love Juan Luis Guerra for sure. Like. Merengue, bachata, and typicals. I love, 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 love. And salsa. I love me some salsa. Ooh. I love anything that makes me like just move yes, and feel like, like gives me anything with flavor. You cannot not listen to Latin Latino music and not want to dance. Like, yeah, it's just and I not, want to be a Latino. Yeah, it's, it's not possible. Is that Evie Queen? Yes, girl. Remember Evie Queen? Like, first girl. of all, if you didn't notice, I'm playing all reggaeton right now. Baby! I met her once at the Puerto Rican parade. Oh my god, I was a huge Daddy Yankee fan. Like, girl, who wasn't? No. <laughs> Girl, like in school dances, I'll be like the wallflower, and then when Gasolina came in, I was twerking. <laughs> Damn, Eliana, is that you? Yeah, I was like, I was like, yes, I want yeah. more Gasolina. That part, Girl, yes. you have to some Daddy Yankee. You have that, to. It's, he's probably coming up. This is like all that I get on this, my Spotify playlist. Also, take me back, girl.
Latina tag. Thank you guys so much for getting ready with us. We hope that you enjoyed uh, this video. Um, I did another collab video with Ileana where we actually did the No Mirror Makeup Challenge. You guys have to go watch it on her channel. So hilarious. Um, I'll put like a link to her channel right here. Also be in my description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye. <laughs>